Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be unboxing another watch. This is uh, my first purchase from the company Swatch. They're more known as like a, more of like a fashion brand, I guess, kind of, in the watch community. But apparently they still have a lot of um, watch heritage. So the company has been in the watch business for a very, very long time. But this is my first time uh, making a purchase from them. Now, uh, the reason why I bought this one was because I've been looking at a lot of swatches lately. And they have some crazy designs and things like that. But this one, I think, is one of the, the Irony series. They make, like, really, really thin watches. And this one, I think, is 38 millimeters. So that's why I bought that, because it's like a, it's like the perfect size for me. A lot of them, they have, I looked for a long time, they have like a lot of 34 millimeters and 41 millimeters, and uh, they're either too small or too big. Uh, 38 for me is always the perfect size. Uh, and by the way, I bought this one off eBay, actually. Uh, I saw this one new and authentic for like $49 or something. So... And this is the one with the stainless steel casing, so I just bought this one uh, right there. It was kind of like an impulse buy, honestly. But um, yeah, let's see how it does. And also, this is still being sold on their website for $160 retail. Uh, which is kind of steep for a little uh, quartz, a Swiss quartz watch, but yeah, I don't know. And also, the, uh, their watches are mostly known as like a kind of disposable watches. Especially their plastic ones. I heard that they don't hold up very well. So really nice to see that I could find the one with the metal casing in the, the buckle here. For like under $50. So here we go. It's just like a little standard plastic case. One thing I noticed is there's a little crack here. And also I think from some videos online. This is supposed to be under here or something so and it looks like it's a little bit creased so maybe this is like a return or something not entirely sure it doesn't look it definitely looks like it's been opened before i guess tag is still on it i don't know if someone just put back the tag on but uh yeah here we go swatch right there Leather feels decent, I guess. So it feels a little flimsy, just a little bit. But I guess they are supposed to be disposable. Here's the... All the little holes over here. And here is that face. 38 millimeter. So it should be the same size as my Tissot. Right here. And let's take a look at the back. Here says swatch. And there is that battery compartment. V8 Swiss made. Water resistant. Now I heard the water resistant on swatches are, it's like nothing really that special. It's probably like 30, 30 meters maybe. So I wouldn't get these too wet, but I don't get my watches wet anyway. Unless it's a G-Shock, then I usually those things can take one hell of a beating. It also tells you what the battery is, which is really nice. Stainless steel, swatch. But yeah, this is the skin irony one, so it's supposed to be very thin. And it definitely looks... This is probably the thinnest watch I own. But uh, yeah... I actually want this one to last, so that's why I didn't get the one with the plastic. But, okay, let's pull this off. Let's see, Swatch Swiss. And it also says Swatch AG2018 on the bottom. Now this uh, crystal feels like plastic. I think it's like acrylic, probably. Now, 50 bucks for a disposable stainless steel quartz. Swiss-made quartz. 
I think this is a pretty good buy. It's worth it, I think. But if it was going to be the retail for 160 eh, I would have a hard time justifying buying this. Especially because I can get... I got this Swiss... Uh, automatic watch from Tissot for 250 so it's like not that much more than this kind of disposable watch. Doesn't look like these things have any serial numbers or anything like that. There we go. But yeah, it feels very light. First impressions. And uh, I'm gonna set the time. Feels very smooth when I'm turning this crown, which is nice. 2.44. So almost 2.45. So I'm just gonna put it right there. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna try it on. Here's my Tiso. This is one of my favorite watches. I've been wearing this almost every single day since I've got it. And uh, yeah, the power reserve is... I, I took this off for like uh, three days. A little over three days and it's still running. So that 80 power, that 80 hour power reserve, I think is, it lives up to the hype. So now let's put this on. Now my wrists are pretty thin. Okay. Oh. It's a very, very simple watch. <laughs> there we go, 246. Yeah, it, it hugs really close to my wrist, as you can see. Very, very thin. This is a, it's a nice looking watch. Look at that. It's so thin. I've never had a watch this thin before. And it's pretty easy to read. 38 millimeter right there. Yeah, look at that, it easily slides under my sleeve. So very, very nice. Let's look at that. I guess that's about it. Very, very cool watch. Again, for a little less than $50, so I wouldn't really be concerned uh, if much happened to this, especially since it has the acrylic crystal. So I like to treat my things with care and I do, I do usually baby most of my things anyways. So Definitely will keep this watch in my rotation. So that's it for this unboxing. Uh, for $49 that I paid. Definitely worth it. It's very comfortable. Very thin and light. But for the retail $160, mm, I probably wouldn't buy it at retail price. To be honest. And the ones that I definitely don't want to buy from Swatch are their automatic ones with the System 51 movements, I think they're called, because those are completely not serviceable or repairable. So once those are dead, those are kind of just dead. But with the quartz, you can still change the battery and all that stuff. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time.